Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video talking to you about something that's been seen on the channel a lot, however rarely discussed or getting the attention I think it deserves, and that is going to be the Axle Tracker Blue Hearing Protection. Now, Axle is a brand that I was not familiar with until fairly recently. Um, basically, one of the companies that I deal with to get some products to review started representing these guys. They asked if I was interested. I figured, hey, why not? I'll give it a shot. However, I have find, found myself using these all the time and uh, really, really enjoying them. So I figure it's time for me to let you guys know about them and give you what my experience has been so far. Now, I've used a lot of electronic hearing protection over the years. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably running electronic hearing protection now. However, one of the things that this offered that, again, I know is available in others, but I hadn't used myself is also the Bluetooth integration. And that is, I think, one of the things that has made this a little bit more enjoyable to use. But before we get too deep into the weeds, um, again, I wanna make the full disclosures here that I did not pay for this uh, set of earmuffs here. This was provided at no cost by a third-party agency. So I'm not dealing directly with Axel, um, so for what that's worth. Um, but again, I didn't pay for these, so take that for what it is or, you know, whatever impact you think that might have on this video. But again, I've been using these things for a very, very long time. And I've also had several other people use them just to get, you know, other people's perspectives on it. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of dive into the features of these and then hopefully explain to you why I've been using these and enjoying these so much. So the Tracker Blues, just like most electronic hearing protection out there, are going to allow you to be able to amplify ambient noises, conversation level noises, um, while also compressing and dampening noises from loud sources, like in my application, firearms. So uh, they rate these things for 27 decibels of reduction in noise. Um, and basically anything above 85 decibels is when that compression is going to start kicking in. And just for reference, at least according to something I looked up, 85 decibels is about the sound of, you know, a noisy alarm clock, uh, just above the sound levels of something like traffic. So not in the realm like 140 decibels where you're going to get hearing damage, um, but something that we would consider loud, generally loud. Um, you're also going to get things like um, wind noise reduction, which is a very handy thing. Uh, some of the other ones that I've used, if the wind starts going, I, I can't hear anything because it's amplifying all that. So again, it allows me to have conversations with people, to hear range commands if I'm taking a class, or just you know be able to have situational awareness of the things going on around me, but still protect my hearing when those loud noises happen. However, one of the things that, again, makes this one a little bit different than your traditional um, electronic hearing protection is the integration of Bluetooth. So if I show you here on this side uh, where we've got the Axle logo, we've got two different selectors for volume. We've got the uh, large rotary dial here. This, when I turn it on, is just your standard ambient noise amplification so I can either get it to my regular level of hearing or I can even amplify it above that uh, so if I'm trying to really listen for something I can actually bump it above my own natural level of hearing and then I've got a smaller dial here and this is to adjust the volume of the Bluetooth now I've got this little button here at the top of this side here and hopefully we'll see it turn blue when it turns blue, that means that it is now trying to connect via Bluetooth to any of my devices. Now, the instructions will tell you exactly how to go about syncing that to your device. In fact, I'm kind of curious, I'll pull up my phone here, see if it is actually connected once it remembers my phone. Yeah, so it is already connected to my phone via Bluetooth. Once it turns on, it'll connect automatically once you've already kind of mapped it to your device. Now I can play whatever I want through my phone. I can be listening to an audiobook, I can be listening to a podcast, I can be listening to music, YouTube, whatever I want to, and be able to listen to that independently from what's going on. So depending on what you're doing, you may still wanna be able to maintain situational awareness. So if I can um, bump the Bluetooth audio down and bump my ambient noise up, if I'm trying to kind of close off the world, I can bump my ambient noise down and my Bluetooth up. You really just have a lot of options. So especially when I'm at the range, when I'm doing cleanup, when I'm doing setup, 
you know, I, I try to listen to audiobooks. And at least this year I've been trying to listen to audiobooks more. So as I'm setting up, if I'm especially if I'm there by myself, I'll just play an audiobook, or if I'm listening to a podcast, I'll be playing a podcast while I'm doing that setup. And then once it's actually time to do stuff on the range, then I'll turn that Bluetooth feature off or pause whatever it is I'm listening to and just focus on the task at hand. The other thing it allows me to do is give my wife uh, something to do when she's at the range with me if she's not actively participating in what I'm doing. So if she wants to be able to listen to an audiobook or something like that, it allows it to work that way for her. Now, if I wanted to, I still do have a little jack down here so I can jack directly into some devices. Um, now, you know, like my iPhone doesn't even have one of those jacks anymore. So if you are still running a device that has that, you can do that. But the Bluetooth is just going to make it a lot more versatile and make it so I'm not necessarily tethered into anything directly. So that is a feature that I've really been liking. And I know that it is available on some other devices out there, but it's again something I really like. So if I had to say something that I wasn't a huge fan of, it would be the lack of any sort of auto shutoff. Basically meaning if I, as I tend to do, done at the range and I forget to manually shut off this volume dial here to the point where it's off, it'll just continue to run and run and run until the batteries are drained. Some other items that I've used, like my Peltor Comtax uh, and some other electronic headsets I've used, if you leave them on after a certain number of hours, they'll automatically shut off and you have to basically turn them off and then turn them back on again. Or like on the Peltors, just hit one of the buttons just so it knows, hey, I'm still using these. Um, that way I'm not running through batteries every single time. If you're not forgetful like me and you remember to turn off your stuff every single time you're done at the range, obviously that's not a concern for you. However, uh, for me, if there was a Gen 2 or something like that, that's something I would like to see integrated into it. The other potential drawback is going to be cost. Now you can get a nice pair of passive hearing protection for, you know, 20, 30 bucks probably. When you're getting into electronic hearing protection, you're looking at 60 to 80 dollars. These, with the incorporation now of Bluetooth, we're getting up to like that $160 realm. And that is definitely not cheap. However, that Bluetooth functionality is, again, maybe not something you need. And if, if you don't, there's plenty of other options there too. Um, but if you do want those features, again, if you're like me and you like listening to audiobooks, podcasts, music, whatever, and for what it's worth, something I've done. I don't know if it actually helped, but one thing I did uh, one time I was shoot, trying to shoot really tiny groups and I was trying to squeeze the most I could out of my 6.5 Creedmoor and I uh, played some very calming music in my headphones just to try to lower my heart rate even more. I don't know if it actually helped that much, but if that's something you wanted to be able to do, that Bluetooth is going to make it a whole lot easier. Um, so, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and throw those in the comment section down below. If you have experience with these or any of the other hearing protection from Axel, definitely let me know. This is obviously a sample size of one, and while this has worked really well for me, I want to get other people's perspectives as well because that's just going to add to the knowledge pool. And I will have a link down below if you wanted to try these out for yourself uh, so where you can get them. It is going to be an affiliate link through Amazon. So if you use that, it will financially benefit the channel. If you don't want to financially benefit the channel, obviously you can choose to just Google search the Axel Bluetooth trackers or Tracker Blue uh, and find it that way and completely bypass my channel altogether. Totally your prerogative, but, but just for what it is, if you follow that link below, it will help out the channel. But I do want to also say thanks to my patrons because while these were provided for free, the ammo uh, for the guns that I ran with these definitely wasn't. And the support I get from Patreon definitely helps to make that stuff happen. Uh, so because of that, we post all our content over there early. We're doing more with live streams over there. Uh, we basically trying to do a bunch of stuff to benefit the people who support over on Patreon. It's one of my big goals of 2022 is to give them more benefits over there. So if that sounds interesting to you or you just want to financially support the channel, definitely head over there and do that. But with all that being said, as always, I hope you got something out of this video and I really appreciate you watching. I'm disappointed in myself for taking a step backwards. Shame.